Chickadee, how are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla, I'm Cindy, and we're so excited because today we have a very special collab with a very special lady. We are collabing with Lori from All That Beauty with Lori to do an iHeart Drugstore Reboot Tag. Yay! Lori truly is a lovely lady, and she covers just that, All That Beauty with Lori. Great reviews and demos on everything from hair care products to sheet masks to everything beauty in between. So be sure to check out her channel. We'll also link her video of her version of this down below. So let's get started. Boom! Which brand do you think has stepped up their game? Without question, I'm going to go with Wet n Wild on that one. Between this terrific Photo Focus Foundation and some of their new lip products, I always thought Wet n Wild was nasty. I'm going to be honest with you. It was I, low budget. It was low budget mm -hmm. and the quality was bleh. But they really have come a long way. Man, with some of their reboots of some new products, foundation, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, Wet n Wild, you have done it right. I would go with Maybelline. I didn't really use Maybelline a whole lot, but I do use it now. I love, love their eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. Here's what I love about it. That's not a brush. That's a little tip, a little ball. And let me tell you, you can get some wicked wings with this. You can do a really great job and it's just effortlessly. The brush doesn't, you know, overfill because it's not a brush. Wet n Wild and Maybelline, they kicked it up. What are your three favorite new products? Going back to Wet n Wild, loving their liquid cat suit matte lipsticks and the coordinating liners that go with them. $4.99 for this, $2.99 for these. These are as good as any high-end liquid matte lipstick that you're going to find anywhere. Knocked out of the park with this one. Love it! This is brand spanking new from e.l.f. This is from their Beauty Shield line. And this is a primer with SPF 50 already in it. I love the fact that you're getting both the primer and the SPF in one product. Saves you a step. This is an interesting primer. Comes with a pump. And it says it has a universal tint. I was very hesitant and not convinced of that. Because when it does come out on the skin, it has a little bit of color. And as you can see, Cindy and I both have very different skin tones and different skin colors. It looks dark on me and light on her. And when you rub it into the skin, it does actually meld with your skin and sink in and blend right in. It's amazing. I got to tell you, I was like, right. But it worked. It not only blends in nicely with your skin, doesn't it feel good? It has a great velvety feel to it, and I'm going to tell you, let the primer sit for a couple of minutes, and then when you put on your makeup, it sticks like glue. I mean, I could even feel it when I was putting the makeup on, the foundation on, on top of it. It was like it was just sticking, and it held all day. It's a beautiful product. Really like this new one from uh, from Elf. I gotta get me some of that. And these are new from L'Oreal from their hair care line. This is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh, I am loving this. Just found this in the drugstore by accident as we were strolling through Walgreens one day. Came across this, and she's like, "Eh, should I try?" It? And then I read what it has in it. It's made with clay, different types of clay, and the idea behind it is that it is good for those of us who have oily roots and dry ends, that combination hair that it's often very hard to find good hair care products for. And it makes perfect sense because clay absorbs oil, but it also moisturizes. I am loving this shampoo. It really does balance out my hair. So if you have combo hair, oily in some spots and dry in others, this is a great new product from L'Oreal. Love it! What would you say is the most overrated product at the drugstore? I'm gonna get some hate on this. I know I'm going to get you are on this. you are because you are going against the grain of everybody but I'm going to speak my truth girl this to me is just 
Ugh, this gets on my last nerve. I mean my last nerve. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. Now this particular one is in the Moonlight Pearls and this is the one everybody's going on about. Oh, it's a dupe for this. It's a dupe for that. Oh, you glow. Oh, you this. This thing, you have to work too hard in my opinion. It's baked. And a lot of baked products you can use straight out of the pan. You have to scrape and scrape and scrape and scrape so many layers off the top of this and waste a ton of product before you even get to anything that has any color or any pigmentation at all. Once you get there, it's a decent highlighter. I don't think that it's as great as everybody raves about. I've got a little bit on today. You see anything magical about it? Well, you're magical anyway, but no. I mean, there's no unicorn glow going on here, okay? There's nothing special. It's just a highlighter, and you got to work like the Dickens to get to it. And I know it's only $3, but again, I wasted a third of the product to get down to anything that would show up at all. So is it really a bargain when you have to waste that much product and when you don't get that much of a color payoff once you get there? I, I agree with you. Girl, let me tell you. When she first opened this thing up and she was like, what the? What the? She's like, I, it, nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. And how much did I get? And she's like, I got to get to this layer. I got to get through this layer. But it wasn't just fingernails. I took the end of a brush and had to dig and grind and grind and grind to get down there. Then use my fingernails. I think I used a knife at one point. It's too much work. Maybe they overbaked it. Better than being half-baked. It's bad. It is bad. And we love us some Elf. Yes, we, we do. love us some Elf. It pains us to have to criticize an Elf product, but it's bad. It is bad. Name a product that you like that's better than its high-end counterpart. Oh, that is easy for me. Right here. This is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation with SPF 15, and I am telling you, it is an exact dupe for the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Beautiful, beautiful foundation. We've done a full review on it. We'll link it up above so that you can see it. This is a gorgeous foundation and it is an exact dupe for this $48 foundation. This one is $6. It performs just as well. It goes on with an exact color match, at least in my color. It lasts all day and it has a beautiful finish. I still love the NARS, but at $6, I'm going to go with this one. Got to like it better yeah. for the price. Yeah. Got to like it better exactly. for the price. Exact do. Your tried and true product that you would repurchase over again. And over again. And I have purchased this over and over and over again for the last 30 years since I was a teenager. That is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This has been around since the 1930s and there's a reason for that. It's because it's good. This is one of the best face powders ever. I always have some of this in my stash, but for some whatever reason, I'll go and pull something else out and I'll start using something else and then I'll rediscover this and go, why did I stop using this? This is one of the best face powders ever. Now, a lot of people will say it has an old lady smell that reminds them of their grandma. I don't mind that. Oh yeah, I think it's pretty. Maybe I'm an old lady. It has a vintage perfume smell. I don't notice it once I put it on my face and most people say that it disappears once they put it on their face. If you're sensitive to scents, be aware of that. They do make a fragrance-free version. So you can be on the hunt for that. Some people call it a dupe for the Laura Mercier. I actually am not going to call it a dupe, and here's why. Because I like this one better. I have a tried and true product. It's the Olay Facial Hair Remover. Oh man, that stuff works. It gets that little hair off. Your mom was in the hospital last year, and I had some of this. And, you know, bless her little heart, she was just... She was on so much medication and her, she was getting, because of the medication, was getting a little stash going on there yeah. and it was bothering her. So Cindy kindly volunteered to bring this over and in ICU, we did a little <laughs> stash procedure, painless. And I mentioned ICU because it was that easy. It's your product. I'm going to let you talk about it. But I witnessed it, and it was just so simple. And, man, was I impressed watching it. It was pretty dang good. I think, I think Carla was a little bit, 
doing well, I don't know about this. But she was blown away with how easy the the hair just wiped off. Oh, that is wiped mind. off. Yeah, you know, some of those depilatories, you have to just kind of scrub them. And it burns. No burning, no redness, no irritation. No bumps. No, nothing. It was, it's beautiful. If you need help with your stash or maybe a stray beard thing you've been going on, because you know, as we go through the change, we get some little hairs. On our chinny chin chin. I haven't tried it on my, out on my brows yet. I think I might do that. Cause that it would work because you could get really precise with it. Uh -huh. It's awesome. It is awesome. I highly recommend it. I buy it. I've been using it for years. Olay Facial Hair Remover. Good stuff right there. It is. New to you or most impressed with? A brand that's new to me is number seven from the UK. I have been dying to get my hands on this because I'm obsessed with anything from the UK. Always have been. Got up at 2 in the morning to watch Princess Di marry Prince Charles when I was a teenager. I'm obsessed with anything from the UK and I was so excited. Now, number 7 is not a new brand, but it is new in the US. It just recently became available in the US. First thing that I picked up from them was this gorgeous eyeshadow palette. A beautiful eyeshadow palette that really does rival the Naked 3 gorgeous rose gold shades. They are creamy, buttery, they go on gorgeous, they last all day. It's got a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers and just lovely, lovely shades that you can go dramatic or natural with. That eyeshadow palette though is, is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, period. Not just from the drugstore, but overall, it's a hands down beautiful winner. I'm going with Simple. This is the Micellar Water. I was kind of on the fence about it. Um, I know it's, it's supposed to be comparable to the Garnier, to the Garnier and the L'Oreal. So I did a little trick at home. I put plain water on one of my little cotton pads, did one half of my face, and I put this micellar water on the other half. That thing picked up some stuff. It picked up some stuff. I, I'm really impressed with it. I got it at Walgreens. I'm sold. I'm a simple girl. Nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What brand has never impressed you, but now you like? I'm going to go with Almay on that. I was on a hunt for a decent mascara because I've always had sensitive eyes, but recently, man, they just kicked up their sensitivity to a whole new level. She was crying all the time. Crying all the time, swelling all the time. They were just water and itch and itch and water and drive me crazy. And I would spend all this time getting the perfect smoky eye. And the second that I would put on mascara, whoosh, it just all washed away. Look real good for a minute. Nothing ticks you off more than that, does it? So I went on a hunt. I even went on Facebook. And I said, all right, calling all my beauty divas, I got to have a new mascara. Because at first I wasn't even sure it was mascara. I thought maybe I just had eye allergies in general. We do live in the South. We have pollen and stuff stirring around everywhere year round. Mm -hmm. One of my cousins said to me, Almay girl, it's hypoallergenic. It's ophthalmologist tested. And I'm like, yeah, really? I'm Almay? I like I'm not an Almay girl. And she kept saying, Carla, trust me, if you have sensitive eyes, you got to go with Almay. So I said, what the heck, I'll try it. Girl, was she right. Thank you, Cousin Karen, because you were 100% right on that. I use their mascaras, and I also use their eyeliner. I like the waterproof mascaras, so I have got to go with Almay, because this is all I'll buy now for my eyeliners and for my mascaras. Almay all the way. I guess I would say Maybelline. I'm back to Maybelline. They have just upped up so much, and, and I do use them now. I didn't use them before. So I would have to go with Maybelline. Next question. We're Ooh, almost done. Yeah. Okay, which product, primer or setting spray or whatever, has helped your makeup look fresh? No question. Gotta go with the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous 12 Hour Power makeup setting spray. Whew, that's a mouthful, but this is a fabulous setting spray. It smells really good. It smells like cucumbers, but it's not overpowering. 
dissipates pretty quickly. I will say it has 12 hour power indeed. Very inexpensive, you can get it at Walmart. It's just a really good product. I might have to try this. I was really surprised. I don't even know why I picked it up because I had really low expectations, but I was like, eh, try it. What the heck? It's just a few dollars from Walmart. I really like it. Hard candy is another product that's coming a long way. We're on the home stretch. Your favorite and best makeup brushes. These aren't just makeup brushes. They're little magic wands. Whether it's Kabuki, shader, fluffy brush, highlighting brush, blush brush. Elf has got some fabulous brushes from their studio line. These are normally three to eight dollars a piece, but even their dollar line are good. Good brushes for a buck. Can't beat it. You can't, can't beat you it. Can. Love me some elf brushes. I also am a big fan of the Eco Tools line. These are really soft. Feel that. Oh yeah. Soft, ergonomically designed, and they work really well. They have really nice bristles. A good line, really good line. So there you go, our favorite drugstore, our iHeart Drugstore Reboot products. Thank you, Lori, for working with us on creating and coming up with a reboot of the iHeart Drugstore tag. And be sure to go and check out Lori's channel and her video for her version of this. Now, because this is not only a collab, but a tag, we want to tag some people. Yes. Tag, you're it. Who have we got to tag? Jennifer Jenkins, you're it. Natalie, the beauty diva, you're it. Susie Q, come on. Tati, she participated in the original tag, did she not? I believe that she did. So, Tati, we want to see what your reboot version is like. Tag, you're it. Angie from Hot and Flashy, you're it. Tammy from Uppies Beads, we'd love to see your version. Tag, you're it. Laura from Shake Up Makeup, boom. Cassie from Thrift Fit, and we love us some Rana Lynn Nipo. So tag, you're it. But if we didn't name you and you want to participate, tag, you're it. We'd love to see your version, and be sure to link it down below in the comments section so that we can check out yeah. what your iHeart Drugstore products are. Thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed this as much as we did we had a fun time making it and if you'd like to see some videos or if you're a creator and you'd like to collab or tag with us contact us we're with you girl we are part of the mature beauty community and we're proud to be part of this yes, mature beauty absolutely. community because just because you're getting a little bit older doesn't mean you can't keep your sassy and sexy on that's right, girl. If you have any favorites, why don't you comment down there below? Maybe it's something we haven't tried yet. And while you're down there, there's this little subscribe button. Click it. Or you can click it right here in this corner, too. And there's a bell beside that subscribe button. If you click that bell, ding, you will get notified every time that we upload a video. I found out something about that. What? YouTube has been randomly unsubscribing people, which I knew that, and we've had some loyal subscribers who are like, why am I getting unsubscribed? So you may get unsubscribed from, from some of your favorite channels, and it's not your choice. But I found out if you click the bell, supposedly that prevents you from being unsubscribed. So make sure you click the bell so that you don't get taken out of the chick loop. That's right, you don't want to miss us. We would miss you, because we're adorable. Thanks so much for watching. It always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. So until next time, I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. We're two real chicks and we love you. Bye. Bye.